Hey guys, welcome back. Or if you're new here, my name is Amanda and I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that seems like something you're interested in, then I would just love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button down below. Today's video is part two of the Nordstrom anniversary sale. What did I get? So I'm gonna show you a few more pieces that I've picked up. I've got some beauty, some jewelry, some shoes, and also some fashion items as well. So just keep watching and I will show you all of the new pieces I picked up from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. So this is part two. I've got some more of my items that have come in. So I just wanna show you some of the pieces. So here is what I've gotten with the part two. So I wanna show you some really good fashion pieces and some more shoes and some beauty items and some jewelry pieces. So let's just go ahead and start with the jewelry since I'm wearing it all. And I just wanna show it to you before I forget since I am wearing it. So first off, I wanna show you these earrings. So these are from Kendra Scott. And these were the only things that I saw from Kendra Scott that I liked this year. So these are in the silver color and I do believe they come in gold too. They're not as smooth. They're kind of like a hammered look to them. So that's really nice because they're not real sleek. They just have that little bit of hammered look to them. But I love this little double hoop and I just think these are really cute. They're really good quality and they're really light on your ears. And then next up is this necklace. So this necklace I love. It's got this little palm detail to it. And then on the other side, it's just like a hammered, it's just like a hammered disc look. So if you want a more muted, more subtle look, you could turn it around. But I do love this little palm look. Necklace, really dainty chain, and it is adjustable. So if you need it to be more of a choker style, you can adjust it up or you can adjust it down a little bit more. I have this probably in the middle, so it does come down a little bit more. And then next up is this bracelet that I want to show you. So it is a stretchy bracelet. It has gold beads in between this, and this is more of like a marble look. And it does come in other colors as well. There was a really, there's a really Really pretty pink one and a really pretty light blue one that I almost picked up as well but I really liked this marble look to it I think this was the calming bracelet but they had other kind of meanings behind the bracelet so these are really nice to pick up so these are the three jewelry pieces that I picked up so I'm really excited about all the jewelry pieces that I picked up from the sale this year so let's just go ahead and move on to the beauty products now so I did receive that Bobbi Brown lip duo and also the Anastasia brow Wiz. showed that to you in my first video but I did get a few more pieces these are some great sets that I picked up. So the first one I want to tell you about is from Laura Mercier and it's the Caviar Trio stick. So these are $58 for the three full size sticks. They retail at $87. So that's a really good savings if you do like these. This is a great time to pick these up. They come in three beautiful colors. They come in the nude rose, which I'll show that one to you. These are really nice and creamy and they're kind of like a one and done kind of thing. So there's the nude rose. If you can see that, it's a really pretty color and really creamy and they last for they say up to 12 hours and they do really last a long time the next color is the all natural more of a nude color it's a lighter color and that's a really great color that is that second color that you can see right there and then the last color is cocoa it's more of a darker color so that's a really great one if you want to smoke it out or anything like that so there you go those are the three colors they are really pretty colors and they are just so creamy and long lasting so these are a really great deal. If you can pick up this three piece set, it's a really great deal. So next up, I wanted to tell you about a few of the MAC kits that I picked up every year for the anniversary sale. I will pick up some kind of MAC kit because they really do have some really great kits for this anniversary sale and they're a really great price. So the first thing I wanted to show you is this lip kit. So this came as a three piece. It comes with a primer, a lipstick, and a lip gloss. I love MAC lip gloss. It is just such a great formula. I absolutely love it. And I picked up the deep and so I want to show you those colors. So here is what you get with the set. So you get the lipstick, the lip gloss, and the primer. So it's just like a conditioning primer stick. And the end of the lipstick, it comes in this really pretty packaging that's green with this gold full life look to it. And so here's the lipstick and it is called City of Angels and it's a really pretty like burgundy color. And then here is the gloss. That's a really pretty gloss on the top of that. This is a really great lip kit that you can pick up from MAC. So I was really excited to be getting this one. And then next up is the View from the Top Eye Kit. And I got this in the medium. I think this came in two different colors maybe a light and a medium or a medium and a deep. So I picked up the medium because it had some really pretty colors. So this comes with a the mascara, an eyeliner, and then a eye palette. So I want to show you this one. It does come with a full size mascara. And then this eyeliner is such a pretty color. It's almost like an amethyst color. And it's just a really pretty purplish tint color. Let me show you that. Um, so yes, it has that purple tint to it. It is a really gorgeous 
liner and I love the MAC eyeliner. I think it's a really creamy formula even though it's in a pencil form and it's really long lasting. I do like it. I have hooded eyes and this works really good with hooded eyes. And then here is the eye palette again in that green and gold look and here are the colors. It does come with a mirror, but here are the colors. Look how pretty those colors were. I was really excited about this purple color. So you do have some neutrals in there and just some really great colors that you can play around with to get a lot of different looks. There, I got the glare off of it so you can see the colors. Really, really pretty. So next I want to move on to boots and shoes. And if you watched part one, I had a lot more shoes in that one. Those seemed to come quicker than the clothes did. So I did have a lot more. So check out part one. I will link it down below for you, but check out part one as well because I did have a lot of shoes in that section. I only have a couple of pair to share with you for this video. But there's one thing I want to show you first. It's a little bit of a disappointment and I just want to point it out in case these are available in your size and you are thinking of picking them up. So in the last video, I showed you these Adidas ones. They were the Edge Luxe ones. I wanted the Swift ones, but they didn't have them in my size, so I picked these up, which I think I may end up liking better because I did pick up the Swift, which you'll see in a minute, and the Leopard. So I really do love these. I think these are great. I ordered these in a size 10. So I was also excited to see that the other color, this really pretty, like this rose gold color, was available in my size as well. So this also is the Edge Lux. So it's the same exact style of shoe. They're both Adidas. They both look similar. They're just different colors. But I ordered this one in a size 10 as well. And when I tried it on, I thought that they had probably like misboxed it. It felt more like it was a size eight and a half or maybe a nine. It was at least one size too small. It fit really narrow and it was just too short. But when I look on the inside, it does say it is a size 10. So these are the same exact shoe. This one is super comfortable, fits really well. It's just a really nice shoe. And in the bottom of it, it has the little Adidas logo at the bottom. The footbed is really nice on this one as well. So when I went to go try these on, because like these are beautiful, like I love this color. This is just a different color that you just don't really see in tennis shoes. So I was really excited to be able to get these in my size. Like I said, does not fit like a size 10. It fit a size or a size and a half smaller, was really narrow. And then the bottom of it is weird because it says prime green in the bottom of it. So I don't know if I just got a weird pair or what it is, but like it doesn't have the same bottom and the bottom came out of it. So like these are a brand new pair of tennis shoes. The bottoms already came out of it and the bottom does not look like the other Adidas ones. So I don't know if everybody is seeing that with these shoes, but these are same size and they don't fit near as nicely as the other ones. And I can't see if this was just a fluke or anything like that because these are not available in my size anymore. I don't even, I think they might even be sold out in all of the sizes as of now. But really disappointed because these are beautiful, but they just do not fit like the black ones did. So let's just move on to a pair of sneakers that are great. So I wasn't able to get the black Swift, but I was able to get this leopard Swift. And I was really excited about getting these. I love tennis shoes because I wear them a lot. Skechers are always my go-to, but I do love Adidas as well. If I wear any other sneaker besides Skechers, it will be Adidas. So I was really excited to get these on the sale price. And so I ordered these, which most people will say in this particular Swift style to order a half a size down, but I did stick with my normal size 10 and these do fit really nicely. A nine and a half would have been too small, so I would not have sized down. But I really like the cushioning that is on the back of this. So you are not going to have to worry about blisters with this because it's got a really nice cushioning. And as you can see, it kind of comes in so it's going to form to your ankle. And it also has a little bit of cushioning on the side as well. I love these. These are really comfortable and they're really cute. I can't tell. You can see they're really cute with this leopard design. So you can see it has this really subtle leopard design. And from far off, they're not like in your face leopard. I'm not a leopard person, but I did like these because of the subtlety of them. And I really thought that they were a really nice white sneaker. So these are super comfortable. They fit true to size. And I'm really excited about these. So next up are these boots that I love. These are from Soft. I had always wanted to try the Soft brand but I didn't want to pay the price. So this was a really great time to pick them up during the anniversary sale. So these are more of a Western style look. They do have this suede upper and then they had this really cute lace detail on the back. So really like that. And then it has this really small block heel. It's not a real high heel or anything like that. And then you can see the front of them is more of an almond toe. So I love these. They are super comfortable. So they do zip in. That's how you get them on. 
and I did order these true to size. Like I said, this is the first time ever trying this brand and I do love it. I think they're really nice and comfortable and I think these will look really great with fall dresses and with your jeans as well. So really excited. This does come in other colors as well, but I wanted to get this really nice neutral brown color to wear with a lot of different outfits. So that's all of the shoes that I picked up during the sale. And so I wanna move on to blazers and jackets. So this particular blazer is from Vince Camuto and it's kind of like a menswear like and I will show it to you on the Tron. I love this. I love the length of this and I just love the style of this. I love a good blazer and this is great quality and this does run true to size. This does come numerically. So I did pick this up in a size six, which is true to size. So this one is a great one and it's just a really great jacket. It has this ruching that's along the sleeves of it and this button detail at the bottom. This is just a really great jacket. Another blazer is this one from Nick and Zoe. These are great. These are the sleek jackets. I have these in two other colors. I have these in a taupe color and a burgundy color. And these are great. They're a knit style. They have a really nice fit to them. They had this, this one has a magnetic close. The other two did not have a magnetic close. They had a different close, but this one has a magnetic close and it's in a classic black. If you can pick these up, these are great. They're lightweight, they're a knit material, so they're not made of your typical blazer style. They do have shoulder pads, but I did remove the shoulder pads because with the shoulder pads, they made my shoulder like, kind of looked weird, like it was too big for me. But once I removed the shoulder pads, they fit really, really nicely. So this one is a great one. This brand is great quality blazers. I pick up a lot of their blazers because I love the quality, the structure, the fit. The, they have really flattering blazers. So this one is a really nice one because this one's a basic that can go year after year. This one will not go out of style and this one is a great one and it does run true to size. I did pick this up in a size medium. So I'm gonna move on to jackets now. I picked up two outerwear jackets and the first one is more of a lightweight one. And so the first one I picked up is from Bernardo. So I have the puffer coats from Bernardo and love the quality and love the fit of them. It, they just seem really flattering. So I thought that I would pick this up. This is a quilted design. It's in this really pretty mauve color. It's a little bit of a longer style and it is thinner. So it's not that puffer style. It is a little bit thinner. And so you can see how thin the inside is, but this is a really nice one for fall and it does have a hood on the back of it. And I just love this brand. So I wanted to pick this up. And when I looked at it online, it looked like it might be a little bit large. So my normal size would be a medium. This one I actually sized down to a small and this one fits and it's still a little bit oversized. So this one does run a little large. So I would definitely say to size down if this is one that you have your eye on. And then I have one more jacket to show you. And this is a little bit more of a heavyweight jacket. And actually, as I'm holding it, it's kind of heavy feeling as well. But it's a really great brand, really great quality. And I think it's a really good dressy jacket. So this is a wool blend jacket. It's in this really pretty teal color. It has this black marling throughout it. It's from Sam Edelman, so it's a really great quality, but you can see it's more of your longer style wool coat. It does not come to the ankle, so it's not ankle length, but it's really pretty and it has this detail in the back. Love the color of this. And I did order this true to size in a size medium and I think it fits really great. This is perfect to wear over your fall and winter dresses and it's really a good weight to it. So it's gonna be one that you could carry in through winter as well. So love this and love this color. So if you're looking for a really good wool blend, this is a great option to try out. So I guess I'll just show you all the like dressier tops and then go on to the sweaters and the hoodies after that. So this one is from One State and it is this really pretty floral color. You can see it is lightweight. You can kind of see my hand through here. It's not sheer though. It's just a really nice lightweight top and it has these buttons on the bottom at the wrist and it has this really pretty neckline. It has this pleating detail in the front. You could wear this with jeans if you wanted to or you could wear this with ankle pants. And I think this would be a really pretty work look. Throw this under a blazer as well and you've got a really nice look. So this I think is a really great one and I did order this one true to size. I just think this fits really, really nicely. I have a few more Vince Camuto tops. I just love that brand and I just love that sat the satin tops that they come out with. So I was really excited when they had a few of those that were on the sale. So this one is more of your three quarter sleeve. It has a little bit of banding right here with some ruffles. It has a really nice pretty V-neck and I think this is a great length. This does run true to size and I thought this was a really pretty pretty peachy color. This also comes in a lot of different colors and I think this is just a really great work top again with some black pants that would look really pretty. Again here's another dressier shirt option. This is a really beautiful color and it has this ruching right here at the sleeves and I think it's really cute. So it's a button up with the v-neck and it has a little bit of pleating 
on the shoulder to make it kind of like a slight puff sleeve. Beautiful color. This is the only color I think that it came in um, and it does run true to size. I think it's a really pretty work top. Again, to layer under cardigans or blazers or wear it by itself. In a minute, I'm gonna show you a pair of Spanx seamless pants that I think this would look really pretty with. So I have one more dressier top option to show you and I saved the best for last. This might be my favorite top that I've picked up from the anniversary sale. I love purple. I'm a purple girl. And when I can find those jewel tone purples, I just gravitate toward them. So this Vince Camuto top is gorgeous. This is so stunning on. This color is just so beautiful. And I did order this true to size in my normal size medium. Beautiful v-neck and it just has a slight button on the sleeve. This is a great dress top. Wear this with ankle pants. Wear this under a blazer. Just wear this with a skirt, a really nice pencil skirt. This will look so good. Love this. This comes in a lot of great jewel tone colors. It comes in a really pretty blue, a really pretty red, and I think it comes in a light pink and that peach color that I showed you in the other Vince Camuto top. I think it comes in that as well, but this purple is so gorgeous. I love this purple color. Like I said, this might be my favorite dressy top that I picked up in this sale. And then I'll just move on to a couple of hoodies that I picked up. And so this first one is from BP, and this is so soft you guys so it's a thinner hoodie so as you can see the hoodie is real thin it's not one of those big bulky ones fabric is so soft it is really comfortable this came in three colors it came in this navy color a gray and i think maybe black um i'm not sure what is available as of right now this is just a, so soft i love it so this is just your regular hoodie it has a few seams down it to give a little bit of interest it does not have front kangaroo pockets or anything like that it's just a sleek design but it's really nice and thin and it does have this where you see the circle hem at the bottom of it. Really nice, love this, runs true to size, will be great with any kind of athletic pants, leggings, or if you wanna wear it with the jeans and sneakers. But I think this is a really great hoodie. It is so soft. So the next sweatshirt kind of cow neck top that I picked up, was so excited about getting and it's this one right here i'd never heard of the brand before it's outdoor reach but i wanted to try it because it looked really like a really good comfortable casual like cow neck top to just wear with jeans and some sneakers for a nice fall day this comes in i think three or four different colors i did pick this up in a small because at the time the small was the only one that was available in the burgundy color and i had to send it back because it was way too small picked it up in a medium which is my normal size Again, I would probably have even sized up to a large. I am definitely keeping the medium because this one has been selling out. So I'm definitely glad that I was able to pick one up, especially in this color. This isn't a pale blue color, really pretty color. This one was the one most limited, I believe, when I was getting it. But it has a really nice cow neck and it does have these front kangaroo pockets, which are really nice and cozy. You put your hands in that as well. And it's just a really soft material. It does have thumb holes in it as well, but it's really super soft. But what's so great about it is the inside is just as soft. Sometimes you can find shirts that are soft on the outside, but the inside can be scratchy or anything like that. It's just as soft on the inside as it is the outside. And so I would say that this does have a more fitted look to it. So I did order this in my medium. So you'll see it on the Tron in the medium. But if I could have, I would have sized up to a large in this one. So that's just something to think about if these do come back in stock and maybe size up to get a more looser fit. So I have two sweaters to show you and we will be finished with tops and we can go on to jeans and pants. So the first sweater I wanna show you is from BP and this is one of your more affordable ones. This is one of the cheaper sweaters that there are. I thought this is a really pretty purple color. This is more of your crop style. So you can see how short this is. Look how much longer the arms are than the body of it. So it is a crop style. Now this one is not as soft as some of the other ones that you may think of, but this is a great price. I think this is under $20. So this is gonna be one of your cheaper sweaters. Really pretty colors. They come in a lot of different colors. And it's just, it's really nice and cropped. I will show it to you with some high-waisted jeans. This is a really pretty color. It's comfortable, it's a true to size, but like I say, this is not your softest. It's not itchy, it's not scratchy or anything like that, but it is just your regular normal sweater, not real soft or cozy or anything like that, but really beautiful colors that they come in and a really great price. So the last sweater I wanna share with you is from Halogen and it's this one right here and it's just a really nice 
lightweight sweater. This is also great if you want to layer. So this is thin enough that you can layer under blazers and cardigans for a really nice layering look. I got it in this pink color, but it does come in a lot of other colors as well. Nice crew neck with some ribbing at the crew neck, and it's just a straight design. It also has ribbing down at the bottom. Of course, I have to cuff my sleeves because the sleeves are too long. I just have really short arms, and I have to cuff almost everything. So this is really nice. It's soft. It is a thinner sweater, and this comes in a lot of other colors as well. So I think this is a really great sweater if you're looking for a nice lightweight sweater that you could wear with some ankle pants or if you can layer cardigans and blazers I think this is a really good one to pick up I picked it up in this pink color just for a more neutral look I can add it with some jackets and things like that for some layering pieces but I think this is a really great one to wear by itself with some jeans and booties as well so we're done with tops and jackets and blazers and I wanted to move on to bottoms so I have one pair of pants that I picked up and they are from Spanx and they are that seamless black pant so this is the Second one that I picked up, I did pick it up in a regular size medium, and I just wanted to tell you for reference, I am 5'5", and the medium regular size was a little bit too long. It kind of bunched at the bottom, and these are ankle pants, so I really want them to fit as an ankle pant. So then I picked them up in the petite, and the petite fit much better. So I'm 5'5", five five, so I would say anybody 5'5 five five and shorter, definitely pick these up if you like these in the petite size. And so at the bottom you have these little slits and of course it was bunching so you couldn't see those slits. It does have this seaming in here which has a really nice flattering fit. It is from Spanx so it is a little bit of a tight fit but they are really nice. They're a really nice pair of pants. I do really like them and I think that you can make a lot of different outfits with this pair of pants with booties and you can have some really good looks. That's why I was saying that purple top would look so good with this. Look how good this would look. And those black booties that I showed you in that first video, I think that would be a really pretty look. But like I said, I'm gonna do a video with all of these things, kind of piecing them together and making full looks for you so you can see how all these can come together with some of the pieces from the anniversary sale. But I think these are a really great pair of pants. And like I said, they do run true to size. And if you're five, five or shorter, I would say definitely get the petite, not the regular size. So now let's move on to some of my favorite items and that's jeans. Okay, so Wit & Wisdom, I always pick them up every anniversary sale. Last year I picked up all the skinny jeans they had and then I think I picked them up in a black as well. So this year they had some more straight leg boot cuts. So I picked up a three pair of Wit & Wisdom jeans and yes, I'm keeping them all because these are my favorite jeans that are, have ever been made. And they do run true to size. I was able to pick all these up in a size six, the slim straight. And all of these are the Absolution technology. They have this little whiskering detail right here. It's a really pretty wash. It's more of your medium wash. And then it has this raw hem at the bottom of it. I did order these in my regular size six because these do run true to size. And I think they were just so flattering. I love this wash. This is the first pair of the Wit & Wisdom that I picked up. And then I picked up another one in a darker wash. And this is the Slim Straight Crop. So these are a little bit different. As you'll see on the side, they have this seaming on the side that's a little bit different. It has two seams on the side instead of that one right down the middle. So that gives it a little bit of a different look as you can see on the Tron. And then these are cuffed at the bottom. Well, these are cuffed at the bottom. You can cuff them if you want for a raw look but I do like the way that they look cuffed with that little crop style with some great booties so these I love I was so excited to get these as well and then I have the lighter style cool max that are coming so I'll show that to you in a complete try on haul that will be coming up in my next Nordstrom video so I picked up three wit and wisdom these really are a great buy they are under $60 they are a great quality. I love the Absolution technology that you see here. It has this really nice banding and they kind of lift your butt up and then they just suck in everything on your tummy. So that's why I really like these. I've never had a muffin top with these jeans. So these are my favorite all time jeans. This brand, I will pick up every single jean in this brand because I love them so much. So I decided during this sale that I was gonna get one of the higher end jeans just to see the quality and to see if they were really worth the cost because these are heavily discounted during this sale. So I'm never gonna pay the full price for some of these jeans, but I will on the sale price if they are actually really nice fitting and worth it to me because those Wit Wisdom, they just fit me like a glove. Those are a perfect fit for me. So that's why I will always go to those and the price is just right on those. That's a really great price for a pair of jeans. If you wear, if you wear jeans every day, then that's a really great price. So I tried the Good American for the first time. And so these are the Good Legs crop. So they say they're a skinny sculpting jean. So I ordered up a size to a size eight in these because 
the, I think the website said to order up a size. So that's what I did. And they are in this really pretty wash. I love them. They have the distressing at the knee and this one's right at the knee. So it's kind of hard when you get in to not stick your foot right through it. But these are a great wash. Love the distressing on them. And then they have a, they do have a clean hem on them. They're not a raw hem or anything like that. So I did order up a size in these and they do fit. And I may end up keeping a pair of jeans that are over $100, which I've never done in my life before, but I may because these do fit really nice and I like the, the way they feel. So this one is a great one. Like I said, I love the distressing and I love the wash of these. All right, guys, so that is it for this part two of what I picked up at the Nordstrom anniversary sale. And I'm gonna do a part three where I'm just gonna put all of these looks together. So I'm gonna mix and match a lot of these looks and just give you a full try on for these. All I wanted to do for these videos is kind of show you the pieces individually so that if you were getting ready to start shopping that you could see some reviews from people that have already received them, how the fit was, and if it was really worth the money or not. So that was the purpose of these two videos to just kind of show you some of the items that I had gotten and whether or not I liked them, whether or not the sizing was correct. But I'm definitely going to do a part three where I can put all these looks together and give you complete looks that will be coming in the next few days so you can see how all these pieces work together. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. I would also love to have you consider hitting that subscribe button down below. I do weekly videos on fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So I would love to see you in my next video. And until then, I hope you have a wonderful day.